Welcome to IQ Checker YouTube channel, home of science quizzes and IQ tests. This is a continuation of lower secondary checkpoint science sample paper 1. Kindly check the playlist for more. Question 5. Look at the table. It shows information about some properties of the group 1 elements. A. Describe the trend in boiling point as you go down group 1. Now let's observe the boiling point column highlighted with red box. You will notice that the boiling point decreased from 1342 to 883, from 893 to 759, then to 688. Hence, the boiling point of group 1 element decreases or goes down or reduces down the group. All these terms are acceptable. Question 5b. Which property does not show a clear trend? For us to answer this question perfectly, let's analyze each column and come to a conclusion. Starting from melting point, it decreased from 180 to 98 to 63. So melting point has decreasing melting point. We've done boiling point. Next property is density. Density increased from 0.53 to 0.97. The density now decreased to 0.89 and then increased again to 1.53. Hence, density does not show a clear trend. Final property is atomic radius. You can observe that atomic radius increases from 145 to 180 to 220 to 235. So atomic radius exhibit an increasing trend. So the only property with no clear trend is density. Question 5c. Predict the melting point of rubidium. The melting point of rubidium is dash. Check the melting point column again. We've established a trend that the melting point is decreasing. So the melting point of rubidium is any value between 20 and 50 degrees Celsius, a number below 63 degrees Celsius. So for this video, I chose 45 degrees Celsius. Question 5D. Describe the change in reactivity of elements as you go down group 1. One thing you should know is that as you move down the group of a periodic table, the atomic radius increases as you can see in the column marked sky blue. The tendency to release the atomous electron also increases. Therefore, the reactivity increases down the group. Question 6. A drawing shows the positions of Africa and South America on the Earth. 6a. Scientists think that these two continents are on separate tectonic plates. What is a tectonic plate? You know that a tectonic plate is a piece of the head's crust or lithosphere floating on the mantle and can move around slowly. There are landforms created as a result of Earth's movement. Question 6b. Scientists also think that South America and Africa were once joined together many millions of years ago. The diagram shows present-day South America and Africa drawn next to each other. Use the diagram to explain why scientists think that the two continents were once joined. The emphasis here is why scientists think that the two continents were once joined. So take a good look at the picture. The maps of South America and Africa, you will notice that 1. The two continents have complementary shapes. 2. They can fit together almost exactly. These are the reasons why we can deduce to support the claim that the two continents were once joined. Kindly know that if you write they have the same or similar shapes, it's not acceptable. 
Question 6C. Look at the table. Which two kinds of evidence are most useful to show that South America and Africa were once joined? Tick only two boxes. If you look at the table, there are five options provided. The two best evidences are 1. Comparing their rocks. Similar rocks on the sh shores of different continents will suggest that the two continents were once joined. 2. Comparing their fossil records. Very similar types of fossils of plants and animals will be found in the two continents. Question 6D. Write down one event that happens when two tectonic plates meet. Several events happen where two tectonic plates meet. These include earthquake, volcano, tsunami, others are mountain building and mid-ocean ridges. So, so many events happen when two tectonic plates meet. Question 6e. Plessy uses a model to explain how tectonic plates move apart. Look at the diagram of Plessy's model. Complete these sentences about Plessy's model. The first sentence is the tectonic plates are represented by the dash. So we've already established that tectonic plates are moving head crossed and floating. So from the diagram, the plastic blocks floating in water and moving apart represent the tectonic plates. Now the next question is the water represents dash. So the water represents the molten magma or mantle. Now the next question is the water moves in a cycle in a process called dash. So this process is called convection. Convection is the transfer of heat from one place to another due to the movement of fluid. Now the next question is the Bunsen burner represents the heat source from the dash. So the heat source is the car. The car serves as a major energy source for the planet Earth. Question 7. The diagram shows a white hot spark. Complete the sentences about a white hot spark. Choose from the list. A white hot spark is at a very high dash. Remember that you have to choose from the list of words provided. The only word that can qualify hot and high is temperature. So temperature represents the hot and high. So question now continues to say it does not contain much dash so this will be heat energy so it does not contain much heat energy now putting temperature and heat energy into the question we can now say that a white hot spark is at a very high temperature it does not contain much heat energy because it does not contain many dash so the answer to this is particle particle question 8 Aiko is making some magnesium chloride she reacts magnesium with dilute hydrochloric acid step 1 magnesium and dilute hydrochloric acid are reacted together until no more magnesium reacts step 2 the reaction mixture is separated to give magnesium chloride solution and in step 3, magnesium chloride solution is heated. Question 8a. A gas is made during this reaction. What is the name of this gas? So going back to Aiko's experiment, she reacted magnesium, which is a metal, with hydrochloric acid, which is an acid. When metals react with acid, salt is formed and hydrogen gas is given up. Hence, the gas form is hydrogen gas. Question 8b. Step 2 separates the magnesium chloride solution from unreacted magnesium metal. What is the name of this process? This method of separation is called filtration. Filtration is the process in which solid particles in a liquid are removed 
by the use of a filter paper that permits the fluid to pass through but retains the solid particles. We can now label the diagram. The solution in the baker contains a mixture of solid and liquid. There is the funnel. Filter paper is fixed inside the funnel. The residue is the solid that remains on the filter paper. And finally, the liquid that passes through the filter paper is called the filtrate. Question 8C. Step 3. Remove some of the water by heating the magnesium chloride solution. What is the name of this process? Now go back to step 3. The application of heat will cause evaporation or boiling. Therefore, the process in step 3 is called evaporation, though boiling is also acceptable. Question 8D. Aiko also reacts zinc oxide with dilute sulfuric acid. Zinc sulfate and water are made. Write the word equation for this reaction. If you take a good look at this question, both the reactants and the products of the reaction are already stated. All you have to do is write them out. So the reactants are zinc oxide and sulfuric acid while the products are zinc sulfate and water. Now the question says write the word equation so you write zinc oxide plus sulfuric acid introduce an arrow pointing to the products then write zinc sulfate and water and you are good to go. Thank you for watching, subscribe and click the bell button for notifications. Thank you.